Hello everyone and welcome back to another unexpected video today. We're going to be doing a little haul unboxing thing. Um, these are some CDs that we ordered from Japan. So it's a Japanese CD haul today and I'm excited. Excellent. Um, yes, um, this is just a follow up from our last Saturdays with Dad, the Japanese sellers and everything. So what we want to do is to show you the kind of quality of CD that we receive, and to be honest, the packing. Yeah, to see so how this is the packing is. This is from a site called CD Japan. They also have an app as well, so you can check out all of that stuff. They're not too, you know, overly priced from what I can remember. I mean, for a CD, it is a little bit much, but you do get your money's worth with the sound yeah, quality. You pay more for what you get, exactly. So there's five boxes here. I think we can just start with the first one. We don't know what's in each of these so it's going to be a surprise well we know, we know what's what in, in them there, but we don't know which one's which we don't know which one's in which box yeah. so here's the first one here so we'll take that nicely and here we go the receipt there yeah. and it's wrapped up in green tissue paper safely wrapped up and also in bubble wrap <laughs> This is, oh, oh, I'm glad we started with this one because I've been looking forward to this one the most. So this is Going For The One by Yes. Probably one of my favorite Yes albums now. As you can see, it's all nicely wrapped up. I will show you a bit closer in when we open them up properly. This is the next one. Oh. Again. Another receipt. Well, I know what's in that one now. <laughs> yeah. I tend to have a very eclectic music taste. That's true. Ooh. Whoa! Yeah, this is nice. Ooh, these are more yes ones that we got because I like yes a lot. Mm. But these aren't just, you know, your average copies of Fragile and Close to the Edge. These are the Stephen Wilson. CD remixes. I think these two are my favourite out of the vinyl box set and I had no idea that I could actually get a CD copy. So I got Close to the Edge, obviously my favourite Yes album, and Fragile because it's a follow-up of my favourite Yes album. Um, so that's the second load. Again we will show you a bit closer in a moment. On to box three. These ones are more for dad. But, <laughs> but, but you still like them, yeah? Uh, yeah, I, I do like them. Oh, yes. So here's the first one, you can show that one. What? So this is, uh, well, if you like your southern rock, it doesn't come better than this. Pronounced Leonard Skinny. Freebird, loads of stuff on that. And this was in a jewel case rather than in a mini LP. Yeah, but doesn't matter. And that is uh, second helping, is it? Yeah. And that's got uh, Sweet Home Alabama. Right, number four. Do you want to put this one there? Yep. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. Is that got? Oh, we'll show that in a sec, actually. So the first one coming out of the bag ooh, red. is Red by King Crimson. My favourite King Crimson album, as you guys know by now. This is a double CD. It's a double CD of Sticky Fingers, so it must have some. Must have some like bonus tracks on it, or like a live version. I don't know. And we have one left. Which is not as interesting to me, but more interesting to you. Yep. It's 
Давай, шампи. And this is Taylor Swift. So this one isn't really interesting to me at all. This is, which one's this one? Evermore. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, some fall down there. Now that we've unboxed it, I'm gonna pull the camera a bit closer in and we will show you the CDs. Okay, now we've opened up all the CDs for you in the unboxing portion. Now we're gonna show you them in a more up close environment. So we'll start with the first one which I opened, which is going for the one, which many of you will be familiar with. It's got an OB strip and everything, which is actually nicely stuck in there so that it doesn't fall off. And if you have the CD version of this album, you know it's a trifold and also on the vinyl version too, like that. Yep. And with a lot of these Japanese CDs, they come with little insert, insert stuff. So we got a little, mini like lyric sheet and the cd is in there in the like liner like in vinyl copy and it even comes with a book of photos and lyrics and one of those little... so that's just a japanese translation yeah that's just the translation in japanese as you just said yes so this is uh pronounced leonard skinnard um, and as I said, this is the one with all sorts of stuff in it. Simple man. So that um, one, the OB strip, doesn't, isn't as attached on. The again, very covered. reminiscent of the album itself. And also... you got the inside stuff. The inside stuff as well. I mean, this is, uh, this is so beautifully crafted. Um, Tuesday's Gone, what a great song. This is just, this is a classic, classic, probably one of the t top five, definitely, probably in the top three of Southern Rock albums. It's the defining Skinner album. All right, so we'll go on to my one now. So I've got these two Stephen Wilson Yes remixes to show you guys. I'll open the Close to the Edge one because that's... My favourite album too. Uh, so the OB strip doesn't fold over. And here we go, we have the landscape, um, which is in the vinyl version actually as well, and in the original vinyl version. Take it out. This is in the original version, I don't know if you um, remember this, Dad. The green lyric sheet. Oh yeah. And uh, let's have a look at the CD itself. There we go. It's got the label on it and everything. It feels like we're talking about vinyl, doesn't it? Yeah. And here is the uh, lyrics and some notes, I guess, but they're all in Japanese, so I will not be able to read those without a translation. But this is my favourite version of Close to the Edge. I actually am starting to prefer this version to the original mix. And that is no disrespect to the original mix. That is what got me into the album initially, but I don't know. And actually, Toki remixes, just a side note. I listened to the uh, Stephen Wilson Gentle Giant Freehand remix recently because I got the vinyl version, I pre-ordered it, and it sounds amazing. So if you can, try and pick yourself up that record. Uh, I've just opened this one here. This is uh, the a box, it's almost like a box set of sticky fingers. It doesn't have the zip on it. <laughs> uh, unfortunately. There we go. Ooh. Oh, that's stuff falling out here. There we go. It's a quad fold thingy. Yep, yeah, and it looks very good, very good. I like that OB strip there, that looks good. It's fine. And it comes with a, I think this is like lyrics and stuff, or liner notes, whatever. But again, all in Japanese, so we cannot read it unless we translate it. I think um, there are two CDs in here, sorry. One of them might be like bonus tracks or something? Yeah, I think so, I yeah. Know. Is there anything in there? Oh, there's a book. Yeah. The photos. Mm. Book of photos. I'm not as into the Rolling Stones as, as you are, but yeah, it does look good. One of my favourite albums. Red by King Crimson. My favourite King Crimson album, as you guys know. Um, the album's got me through a lot of difficult times. Um, and just like the album, the vinyl, it's not actually gatefolded. But 
it's the cardboard is very very heavy so it's good i'll try and get everything out for you guys now oh the cd's in like a cloth thing this time uh, it doesn't say anything on the cd itself but it's in a little cloth thing i think i've got some cds upstairs which have that what, um, what thing cloth oh yeah like yeah yeah a cloth thingy my doggy and rather than like a poly lined one so there's a open out thing of liner notes and a booklet of oh more photos again more photos and all that stuff don't take it out nice oh yeah there he is there he is so yeah oh. best king crimson album in my opinion what do you think dan is that is that your favorite the king crimson discography yep it's very very good um do you have a favorite track well Mine I'm, is I'm, all of them <laughs> <laughs> Probably Starless, but then probably that's the cop out, really, because it's everyone's favourite. Yeah, well, uh, it's one of the best pieces of music ever written, so that's fair enough. Yeah. Um, so I'm still trying to get this open, but I don't know if Neve can have a quick go at that. Why don't you talk about that one? Yeah. Uh, and so, I mean, I know this is unpopular for most of uh, you subscribers out here, but as I say, I do have an eclectic music taste. This is the right. Evermore album which is very beautiful. Uh, some great songs on here. It's got the National on it, who I like. Um, bon Iver's on this as well. And it, it's also on the later album, but this one is the the one which I like a lot evermore. It, it comes with a little oh, photos. photos and things like that. And Postcard things. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of cool. Uh, and... You know, this is just another mixing of it. So um, this is just, you know, a great album, I think. It really is good. Um, this one is a bit darker than the later one, which I think has got some really upbeat tracks on it. But, you know. And booklet of lyrics, etc. And the polylined sleeve. And this looks just like a, a vinyl um, inner sleeve, so that looks kind of cool. And it's so cool how they, you know... Even down to the original little book. Um, that is really cool. Yes, it's the, 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 it's just so well crafted, isn't it? So, um, you know, we're, all we're doing now is being superficial and talking what it looks like. But, you know, both Neve and I know just listening to the, the, the sound quality. Listening to the ones we already have. You know? Of the ones, as, as you so rightly say, that we already have. What can I say? This is, as I say, an artist going back to her roots uh, and uh, producing some wonderful folk music. She's a fantastic songwriter, whatever ever anyone says. Uh, a good musician, but I think she's more noted as a songwriter and, and a singer. She's got a lovely voice. Um, but um, anyway... So this is the Evermore album by Taylor Swift. And I managed to get this one open oh, for you. Oh, excellent. It had a little, from my experience buying lots of CDs, there's a little strip at the bottom, Dad, that you pull out and it like unfolds the whole thing. All right, so, okay. So future reference. Oh. So the OB strip on this one just kind of fell off. So that's it there. Let me show you that. And this one as well. Mm -hmm. It's got Sweet Home Alabama on it. And there's one, my favourite track on this, uh, the... Uh, I need you. I just love that song. Yeah, looks good. Here is Fragile, as you know. Different cover. I'm going to open this one up. And this is gatefolded, of course, like the original. There. Oh, yeah. I don't... There should oh. be the booklet. Ah, there we go. And there it is. The original booklet from the album. It's very nice. And when you think I put this order in under a week ago and, we, and we've arrived and they arrived today that is how unbelievably fast they are so you know definitely check this website out they've got a lot of stuff but a lot of it is sold out because a lot of it is very popular yeah um but definitely try and get your hands on any of these mixes that you're interested in you know they have a lot of progressive rock stuff they have a whole range of pink floyd stuff that i'm looking at at the moment um but yeah Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on Friday for another Vinyl Community Friday video and Saturday of course is Saturdays with Dad. So we'll see you then. Okay, so have a great rest of the week and listen to, you know, cool music.
Um, I know I will be. Uh, Make sure too. it's a Grateful Dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's it. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.